Well, I'm Greg Garrett, and I'm a professor of English at Baylor. I've been here for 25 years, and uh, this is uh, the first job that I took coming out of my PhD, and I have never regretted it. It's one of those rare things where you walk into some place and you know that you're at home. I have written a few books. Um, I think with the co-writing, it's up to about 20. And um, four novels, counting uh, the new book, The Prodigal. Um, I don't know how many books on religion and culture. That's sort of my main nonfiction thing because it's one of the primary ways that I understand the world. I was outside of uh, faith tradition for many years. I was raised in a very, very, uh, for me at least, uh, restrictive tradition that didn't make me feel very good about myself or very good about God. And I would think that uh, religion, religion should do at least one of those things, maybe both. Because I didn't know any other way of being a Christian than what I'd been taught. Um, I thought that maybe I didn't like being a Christian and I sort of wandered for a long time. But even during those years, I had this very clear sense that I believed in God and that I wanted to serve God and I just didn't know how to do that. And I kept getting some sort of answers back through movies, through music, through books that I loved. And so in the fiction of Walker Percy or in the music of U2 uh, or in all, all kinds of Hollywood movies, I was feeling that God was speaking to me in some way even though it was not a formal um, sort of way, even though I wasn't involved in a church community. And um, so I understand, I think, maybe better than a lot of people, how God can be moving outside the formal structures of church. And often, uh, I think those stories are laying breadcrumbs that lead people back to the tradition. I ended up coming back to the tradition, um, going to seminary, uh, becoming a preacher, and uh, actually becoming more religious than I ever imagined that I would be. And I think the great thing about that is when you wrestle with your demons, you're also wrestling on behalf of other people. I think great artists are taking up that challenge. And I heard from a number of people, and over the years I've heard from a number of people who have read my work and uh, were in either the place where I was as I was writing or uh, some comparable place and felt like they got some sort of solution, some kind of comfort, uh, some kind of grace out of it. And that's, I think, maybe the most amazing thing about being a writer is that you never know who the work is going to touch.